I'm trying to put on for my city, for your city, for everybody's city out here. As long as y'all wear masks, that's the only way I'll do it. That's the only way. It's the right way. Listen, uh, it is time for the In My City part of the show. And this is the part of the show where we recognize people for their great works in the community. We shout out everybody doing their thing from the top to the bottom. So listen, if you know somebody that deserves our spot on this segment, let us know by DMing us on our Facebook page at What's Happening with Tabitha Simmons or give us a call on our station line at 1-803-400-8988. So let me tell y'all, let me tone this down real quick, real quick, like uh, for this guest on today, this Feel Good Friday on In My Segment, I've got a very, very special guest interviewing with me on today. He is a five time Stella Award winner and Grammy nominated. Listen, uh, without further ado, gospel singer Mr. Keith Wonderboy Johnson. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. What's happening? There you go. Hey, how you doing, Miss Tabitha? <laughs> I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm glad to hear it. How uh how's the weather where you are today? <laughs> the sun is going is going in and out, but it, it let us know we still uh, we stick, we are still above the ground and not under. I know that's right. That's what's happening. Listen, I'm glad that you are able to join us on today. I thank you so very very much. Uh, you ready? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> now you were uh, you were born in Brooklyn, New York. So tell me about a young Keith Johnson yes. and how you knew that gospel music was for you. Well, I was born in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, by the age, by the time I started, by the time I was four, I was considered a prodigy because I was the church drummer at the age of four. And then at that same age, by the time I turned five, my dad realized that I. Could and, and he put me in the family group, which was called the Stranger Voices, which consisted of my dad, my uncles, and some cousins. But by age five, I was in the group, and by six, I was one of the, the lead singers in the group. So, and by the time I turned six, that's when uh, Johnny Martin, who was adopted me as a godfather, he was the manager. And the vocalist, background vocalist for the Mighty Cloud of Joy. He and my dad got together and named me, came up with a nickname, The Little Wonder Boy. Now, wait a minute now. Hold on. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Johnson. Now, now don't you give away my next question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you good. Go ahead and ask. You can go ahead and tell me because that's exactly what I was about to ask you. Where did the nickname come yeah. from? Yeah, the nickname came from I was about six years old, and we I opened up for the Mike Cloud of Joy and Johnny, Johnny Martin, the manager. He, he he adopted me as his godson, and then Joe Lagarde. So they they said we got to come up with a nick. We like because at that time they was calling the all a lot of the groups had a little boy sing a little, and they would call him Little and whatever their first name would be. So they didn't want to, they wanted me to be different. They didn't want to be, me to be the little key. So they just came up with the little Wonder Boy, and it, it stuck. Okay, that's what's up. <laughs> that's how I know you anyway. That's how like the whole name goes together. I can't say just your first and last name. I got to put the whole thing together. Right, right, right. <laughs> now you are a part of a quartet group uh, called the Spiritual Voices. How did you guys manage to come up with this group? Like, were you guys all friends at some point? No, it was my dad. My dad was okay. the manager, and the rest, of, the rest of the group was all family members. My dad, and his mother, and my uncle, and then I had about two cousins in the group. So it was a family group. Okay, so you come from music. Yeah. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> now, you won the Stella Award okay. as for Quartet of the Year, and you mentioned in a past interview that this award was a little bit different for you. Can you tell me why that was? Well, this was my third award winning on a Stella on my own record company. Uh, I started uh, in 2016. I started I started a record company, uh, Timeless Music, and this was my third time winning a Stella Award, which was, uh, you know, 
which was very, very special. This is the first time I won multiple Stella Awards in the same year. So it was very, very special. That's what's up. Well, congrats to you. Well deserved. Um, as far as gospel music is concerned, how do you think it has changed, in your opinion, over the past, over the over the few years since you first came onto the scene? Uh, well, of course, we have different platforms as far as you know, social media, Facebook, Instagram. We didn't have all that, and, and the music has changed a lot too. The sound, you know, modern technology. You know, so we have to welcome and, you know, uh, the new things and adjust and do things different. So when I first came to, the, to it, they were still doing, well, when I first got on the national scene, they were still doing cassettes and CDs mm -hmm. and VHS. Mm -hmm. So, you know, VHS and cassettes are absolutely gone and CDs is just about gone. It's a whole entire different world now. Indeed, it is. Now, you, with all the artists out here that you have, um, that you've come into contact with, that you listen to, who is it that you would like to collaborate right now with, if you could? Right now, it would be. Oh. I'm a classic man. I like classics, so maybe <laughs> Tyler Bell, Stevie Wonder, mm. one of those. Okay. Like it would definitely be a classic. I know it would be a classic. I know that it'd be a, definitely a legend. Oh, you know. absolutely. Goodness, yeah, that that would uh when that happens, I I need to be in the building when that happens because I know whichever one, either one is gonna be phenomenal. Right. <laughs> Uh, what are you working on these days? What do you have going on? What's going on with Keith? Wonder uh, Johnson. Uh, I just released in March. I released a single. I'm calling it the nickname. I'm calling it my my pandemic suggestion. I okay? say, you know, stop putting calling people, putting them in your business, putting your business on Facebook. You didn't try the rest. Now try the best. Try Jesus. The name of the song is a single called Try Jesus. And that's available at all digital outlets right now. And then at least I did a guest appearance on Ricky Dillett's little CD that just came out in April. And also did a guest appearance for the New York State Fellowship Choir, which was which was under the coolest leadership under David, what Pastor David Wright, which is the son of the late great Pastor Timothy Wright. So I have those two singles mm -hmm. out on their CD. And then I have one more coming. I was able to be blessed to do a guest appearance on my mentor and my big brother, Mr. Harvey Watkins Jr. in the Canton Spirituals. I'm on their CD. Mm, so. Yeah. Oh, we goodness. I love the Canton Spirituals. I love uh, old school gospel, and that's that's what I miss. You know, to each its own. But listen, I grew up with my grandparents, so I heard a lot of old school gospel. And, and like you said, you know, music and gospel has evolved over the years and the sound it has has changed dramatically but uh that still hadn't stopped yeah. me from going back and listening to all my old school gospel because that just does something to me yeah that was one that i took to, i guess I, you take some things to burn it and that was on my wish list that i get and get a chance to accomplish i wanted to do a a, a cd with uh i mean a song with joe lagon mm. i spent so much time around him not you know taking i didn't never get a chance to do the song yeah so hmm okay uh let me ask you if you could look in the mirror and face your younger self right now today what would you tell you i would tell me to get patient and uh if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plan. <laughs> Indeed, I agree. I agree to that so much. Um, Things might not work out the way you see it, but that would mean it might not work out for you good. That's right. In the end, you, it's going to work out the way it's supposed to in the end anyhow. Right. I agree. All right. Uh, tell all my listeners out there how to find you on social media. 
So you can find me on uh on Instagram is at Keith on the Boy Johnson. Uh Facebook is at Keith on the Boy Johnson. Twitter is at Keith on the Boy J. And you can even email me at Keith on the Boy Johnson at gmail dot com. Well, there you heard it, everybody. So listen, get it right on over there and follow Mr. Johnson so you can stay up to date on new music, new projects, what he's got going on, tour dates, etc. Um, and for, <clears throat> excuse me, Mr. Johnson, listen, I want to thank you so very, very much for allowing me to uh, take this opportunity to get to know you, to sit down and take a little small sneak peek into your life. I hope that you have an amazing weekend and uh, stay safe out there. Yeah, tell everybody. My parents' suggestion is try Jesus. Listen, stay safe, wear your mask, and make sure you brush your teeth and keep your breath fresh. Because when you put your mask on, you gotta smell your breath. <laughs> So. <laughs> I get <cannot> not with you. <laughs> As what's up, Mr. Johnson. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. All right. God bless. <laughs> bye bye.